Hey guys, in this session we're going to talk about blending. Now blending is really important when you have multiple singers singing at once, which is usually the case here where on any stage you'll have anywhere from four to six vocalists on a platform leading worship at one time. So there's a lot of things that we can implement to make sure that we're doing our role as background vocalists. And as background vocalists, our role is to complement and support. Nothing more, nothing less. We're not there to be a distraction or to get attention. We're there to complement the lead vocalist and to complement the overall sound and experience of the worship set. So let's talk about how to do that in different situations or when singing with different types of singers. So the key to blending is all about tone quality. Male vocalists, when singing background on a female-led song, you don't want to give it too much power or too much punch because in most cases, you're going to dominate over the female vocal. In other words, stay away from using your chest voice in most cases. Stay in your mix register and give your tone a little more breath than you would if you were singing background on a guy-led song or if you were leading the song yourself. Female vocalist. When you're singing background for a male-led song, more times than not, you want to give it a little more punch. So you want to stay away from using super breathy tones and really sing from your mixed voice or your chest in dynamically bigger parts of the song. Or if you're singing background for a female vocalist whose voice may not be as big or as full as yours, you want to add less punch and maybe add a little bit more of a breathy approach to really complement the lead vocalist. Another thing to think about when singing background is managing your vibrato. Vibrato is just an oscillation of your tone, or simply put, the speed of which the vibration of your voice moves back and forth. In most cases, when singing background vocals, you'll want to diminish or completely take it out because you never know how your vibrato may clash with the lead's vibrato until it's too late. I'll show you what I mean. Here's me using my vibrato. Vibrato! Now here's me trying to diminish or completely take away the vibrato. Vibrato! You see the difference? It's all about controlling the air in a more consistent way to help your tone quality when you're singing background. Remember, the role is to complement and support. And the goal of that role is to get the congregation to sing with us. Because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. Leading the people and getting the church to come with us as we pursue God in worship. So, we hope that these tips will be helpful for you, and we'll see you again soon.